Billy Goat is a niche manufacturer of outdoor power equipment and cleanup solution equipment. Um, we're not a mass producer, uh, so we, knowing that we are a niche producer and we produce in small volumes, um, we bring value to the customer through innovation, so we don't design uh, equipment that uh, you would typically see at a box store. Uh, we sell equipment to commercial landscapers. So we take a, a piece of equipment, we start through our full R&D process, and we continually add value through voice of the customer and, and bringing them into the equation, and that's how we do things. We are pushing to um, lean out our business as much as we can, and uh, we knew going into this that uh, our company is growing, and one of the things is if we don't learn how to maximize the square footage that we currently have, uh, we are going to have to take on some financial risk with moving to another facility and uh, we are going to do everything we can in the next four or five years through continuous improvement efforts to try to continue to work within the envelope that we have which is our current manufacturing site. I think we've met our objectives. Um, number one of course is do not move material, don't pick up material, don't move it around. We are in a very tight facility. Um, we are limited in our space and so uh, to achieve you know, <clears throat> a, a new floor layout that would allow us to focus on production and not moving material, uh, we did achieve that goal. Well, our, our core competency is manufacturing and uh, we did not want to be or become uh, a material handler, so to speak. So one of the things that we looked at is we are good at manufacturing equipment, assembling product, powder coating that product, welding, so on and so forth. Uh, there's no value add in moving material around your facility. So we are not in business to move material, so the one thing that we don't want to worry about is moving material. So that's why we came to Siggins and that's what you did for us, uh, coming in and designing a piece of uh, conveying equipment that would move material for us and we could focus on our core competencies. I think uh, if you walk into the facility you can definitely see that there's a flow to our facility and anytime you reverse product against flow you have wasted motion, wasted steps uh, and that's typically due to a rework situation or it has to go back to the point of initial production and that's waste and so those are the things that we're looking to remove and uh, with a conveying system you will see that product comes in, it's moving through that flow and it just keeps that constant flow as it comes in the door, uh, comes through the production areas, into the assembly area, down the conveyor system, into packaging and out to the final customer. So we try to keep that flow uh, consistent and moving the product towards the customer. Siggins came in, you spec the cranes. Uh, we, we went from a packaging system where we would package each product individually on every line. Uh, and that took us to an idea and concept which would be central packaging. So all of our assembly operations flow into that central packaging area and then we fitted that area with crane systems over top. Siggins came in, you, spe you spec those out. And so now we pick and place our product with those crane systems from the point of production into the box. The product will be built and produced on, uh, on lines that are not conveyed. We're actually pushing those products down those lines. Uh, we build our, our, our line philosophy is uh, we, have, we know we have given constraints. We don't run our machines down through tack time. So it's not, we're not building any kind of high volume product to where we have those lines specifically balanced out perfectly. And so you'll see a series of operators moving machines as much in a one piece flow manner as we can. Uh, knowing that we'll have a constraint in that line, we focus on that constraint, try to maximize it, and then those products are built. And then they're pushed onto the automated conveyor system where essentially we're moving product from the point of build to the point of package. And so you'll see those units moving down uh, and, and stacking up and loading and then the operators will be moving those machines off the conveying system into the, the boxing area for final packaging. We definitely went out and quoted some other suppliers and uh, in doing so of course there are some lower cost, or cost alternatives. I'm the kind of person, uh, you know, service after the sale is great but if I make the right purchase up front I shouldn't have to have much service after the sale. So. Uh, the conveyor system, uh, I, I believe, has safety factors built into it and, and the duration of the system, I don't expect to have any issues. Uh, the, the few little issues we had initially were, were, were really expected and we tackled those issues and we, we moved past them. But as, as far as the quality of the system, um, I think we made the right purchase and I think you supplied what we uh, asked for and paid for. I had good mechanical contractors came in, uh, had good communication throughout. 
If there was a critical issue that needed to be addressed, I think we handled it appropriately. I had no errors or issues there. Um, when I asked for things to, to, to be done and have uh, critical juncture meetings, we had those meetings. And uh, when we had delays, which there always will be delays in any kind of size project, I think we found time to get those caught back up and there'll be no issues from my, I'll definitely do business with you again.